Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 558 as a special dedication to Michaela, who says that things have changed. Uh, she says we now have wafers on the board. This is something that uh, we here in the United States call waffles, but I know in other places they're called wafers. So let's take a look at this level with the new requirements. This is basically a single layer and this is a double layer. They work like frosting in that they can be layered, but they also work a little bit like licorice in that we can move them around if we need to. I've got these mystery candies on the board. I've got thick frosting here. I've got portals. I've got jelly under all of this. So let's see what we can do to get this done. I think I'll try for a, a wrapped to see if I can get a striped wrapped or, wow, actually I think I can get a color bomb. But the question is how to best use that. Oh, I think I can get a blue stripe. There we go. I like this. This is going to turn into a stripe, but it might be just what I need. And I can tell how these stripes are going to go on the board. If you're combining a color bomb with a stripe, you start at the very top, upper left-hand corner, and go left to right, top to bottom. And you count out horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical for any of these that can be changed. Now, if you have a sugar drop with a C on it, that cannot be changed. Or um, I think a lucky candy cannot be changed. But a mystery candy will turn into a stripe. And then we don't count this because we're using it. So we go horizontal, vertical, horizontal vertical, horizontal, vertical. This is going to open this entire thing up. So look at that. That's vertical and we get to set things off. Now it's been a while since I've played this level. I don't know if I get any more mystery candies. So you might think, well, she wasted her mystery candy on just a stripe, but a stripe is still a good option. And if I had left it alone, it might have been something evil. I was hoping an orange would drop into position. I would still like an orange here. How can I get an orange here? Hmm. What if I drop everything down? <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I don't seem to be able to get an orange here. I could try a little bit more. There we go. Now I've got this and I should be paying attention to what's happening here because look at that. That's opening things up over at this base here. I've got a lot of work I need to get done and I have to figure out the best way to do it. I've not been paying attention to the individual moves and I've been kind of playing around. So I need to focus my attention better. I take out that waffle. I'm taking out some of this frosting. If I leave this go, I can take out that bunch right there. Now, how can I make good use of everything else? I think I'm going to do this. Oh, well, no, I just messed this up. I forgot to pay attention to what's going on along the sides. All right. I don't know that that was helpful, but it was fun to watch. I can make a stripe here, but if I do... Okay. I kind of had to take a little break now. I don't know exactly where I was or what I was planning, so it's all a new thing. I think what I'm going to do is take out all blue. It's going to remove this, which will put the green together and help me make up for the mistake that I made of taking things out so I couldn't get to this. It'll take out this, which will remove this and this. It'll take out this and this. I don't know what that'll do. But it'll also concentrate the colors down and hopefully give us a better chance of making more matches and specials here. So let's see what it did. Hmm. I don't have much blue on the board now, and I also don't have much green. So if I can continue to remove orange and, I'm sorry, uh, green and blue, then the orange and purple can turn into some nice things. Look at that. Called it. Okay, so going to do this. And now I could check to see, I guess this is the only one that I'm interested in, will it go horizontally? So I say horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, skip, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. 
This should work exactly the way I want it to. Now, if it didn't set up that way, I could have changed like the number of the orange that were on the board, and I would have gotten a whole different setup. So there is a method for changing things if we need to. So now I think I'll take out all green from the board because it's going to help take out that frosting. Notice that those waffles or wafers that we had are completely gone now. Uh, actually, let me do something here. What should I do? I could make this combo, but I don't really have a lot of orange down here. If I could do blue or even purple, that would be better. What if I do this? Oh, look at that. Still with the orange. The orange stripe really wants to participate in this. Orange, you're not helping. What if I do this, and then I can do this? Ooh, scary. All right, so we're going to get some traction from this because things are going to explode over here and help out with some of this jelly that's in this lower area. It's really not as good as if I had had a stripe or if it had been blue because the blue was closer to things, but it's fun to experiment. I'm going to try to get a green, a color bomb with the green here. Hey, color bomb, green, you are not nice. Oh, look, we can do it that way. And then I can do this, and look at how much green I have here. So this should work out really well. All right. So, Michaela, that's how I beat this level with the new requirements. I was a bit distracted. It wasn't a very clean playthrough, but I got it done on my first try. So I'm going to count it as a win and move on. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you folks consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.